I'm hype. Okay, exclusive, expensive, well not really, icy energy, all fall in winter 2021. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> if you're ready, keep on watching. <laughs> Hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Today's video, like that title says, is the promised Nordstrom anniversary sale try on. I feel like I really struck gold this year, for real. So many great gems in this haul that I styled for you guys, by the way. I didn't just try on these pieces, I didn't just review them, I also styled them for you. So if you're thinking ahead and thinking about fall outfits, sis, I've got everything for you in this video. Speaking of fall, make sure that you are part of the newsletter fam so that you can grab your fall lookbook as well okay it's going out pretty soon and I do not want you to miss it all right I don't want you to miss it so without further ado let's just jump into the haul make sure you stay tuned till the end because I'll be sharing some tips making some announcements hint 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 you don't want to miss throughout the video so yeah so we're gonna start off with these pants right here these are good American good classic okay it's a 28 inseam and it is a coated denim like you can see it's made to look like leather but it's not and that's what I really like about it because you can wear something like this in the summer for the night out and you can also wear it in the fall it's not like a heavy leather where you would be like sweating in your crotch so I'm really partial to good American because I love how much they pay attention to detail for example as you can see the back is a little bit higher than the front so you don't have to deal with gaping. Of course, the matte, or it's not even matte, it's kind of like it has some sheen to it. The sheen colored hardware, the fact that the thread and the stitching just blends perfectly into this denim. You can tell that you, you know, you're getting what you paid for this piece. I got in the size 18. Let me just let you know right now, when you first put it on, it feels like it's not the right size, but I would say it's pretty true to size. It is like 92% cotton and it has 2% elastane, so it does have some stretch to it. But you know what? Over to Chi-Chi. This is what she looks like from the back. She looks like from the back. You could totally do a pump or a mule, you know? Let me know which one you would do in the comments. This, what I like about a pair of jeans like this is that you can dress it down, but you can dress it up. So if you're going for something like smart casual, you could wear these pants with a blazer and nail casual Fridays, or just nail a more put together weekend errands look. I would give these pants a eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, an eight and a half out of 10. Just cause I feel like it looks like it's gonna stretch out a little bit with some wear and I also wish it was a little bit more snatching in the fupa area. Oh, <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. So if you're looking for styling tips, dressing tips, outfit ideas, hauls, you know, lookbooks, all of that stuff, we have it here for you, okay? You found your family. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned that I share in this video, definitely leave those comments for me. Speaking of description box, sis, did you know about the giveaway? Girl, you don't wanna miss out on this giveaway. All the details are in the description of this video. The next item, okay, this is giving me exclusive, expensive, icy, rich auntie energy. Okay, all of it, all of it is going to be this piece. Now, and I feel like I have a nice base when it comes to basics, and I'm really looking for elevated anchor pieces. So these are the pieces that I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear of, and the pieces that really help to finish my outfits. So when I saw this fur jacket, I was like, okay girl, she is mine okay one of the biggest tips I give for fall and winter is to really invest in your outerwear and this this is what I'm talking about like the fact that I was able to get this gorgeous piece right now on sale is phenomenal and you can just see like I wish you could touch it through through it's so nice and so soft and so plush and really what sold me on this jacket is the fact that it has a tie I know these type of like fluffy jackets especially when you're a curvy girl when you're thicker they can literally make you look like a bear so this is more of like a double breasted style and I got this in a size extra extra large okay and I believe after the sale the price of this jacket is $229 
$10. And I think it's actually worth it. The quality, okay, the finishing, the stitching, just everything. Like I have nothing to say about this coat. And I that is negative, honestly. Like it is worth the price. I also love this color because I think it's super versatile. I can wear it with my blacks, I can wear it with my navies, my tans, like my grays. I can throw this on over some leggings and a t-shirt and a sneaker and you know be on my way to the airport, you know, but still looks super chic. And I can also throw it on, you know, with some nice uh, leather trousers and a pair of heels and still look super chic. If you do not have one of these in your closet, I think it's a must have, okay? So yes, she is a must have, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling about her. Do you think she's a yes? Do you think she's a no? Let me know. So I have to warn you, <laughs> I picked up quite a few jackets in this haul because I feel like those are the pieces, those are the anchor pieces that really help to elevate your wardrobe in the fall and winter. And I picked up a shacket, okay? I talked about shackets like earlier in the spring. It was one of my must haves. It's a must have for fall, just like for spring because it's one of those pieces it's like a light, it's like a shirt jacket. So it's not super heavy. So it'll take you right into like fall and early winter. And it's the perfect third piece to throw over your outfits. I talked a lot about like how to, you know, dress up a basic outfit and pieces like this are a must have. I was completely partial to this neon green. It's something expected. I haven't seen anything like it around. I got this in a size extra large. I also got the 2X to try it on and definitely the extra large is my right size. I think I would have drowned in the 2X. It's like a teensy bit snug on the arm. It's not even snug. It's just not as loose as it's I would expect it to fit in the arm. So I just wanted to bear that in mind for my girls with bigger arms, you can still get your real size, if that makes any sense, because it is made to fit oversized. It's also quite long line. This one hits me about fingertip length, and then the other jacket that I picked up hits me more like almost knee length. So for reference, I'm 5'7", and my measurement height, all that good stuff is in the description box for your reference, just in case you're wondering. And I would say a 1X is the right Size. This also comes in straight and in plus as well. And that's really what I love about this sale is that you can get a lot of their pieces, especially the Nordstrom made brands in both straight and plus. I love this style. It's super easy. Just throw it on with everything. It has pockets on the side. And then if you're someone who doesn't like carrying a purse everywhere and a pocket in front, you can just throw this on with like your leggings and your sports bra. Quality wise, I'd give that a nine out of 10. No issues whatsoever with this piece. As soon as I saw this green, I was like, okay, sis has to be mine. I have her paired with a denim skirt and a tank and some combat boots. This is a perfect look for fall. Continuing on with jackets, this is where I need your help, y'all. I need you guys to let me know which jacket I should keep. Should I keep this one, which is more of like a cream, um, sort of like a pinky lavender and camel colored mix? Or should I keep the other um, one, which is more of like the neon green? So this is mainly polyester, but it does have wool in it. It has about 3% wool, just for those of you who may have some fabric sensitivity. I just wanted to let you know. And yeah, I feel just like with the other one, these are like the perfect pieces to just throw on and style up a t-shirt and some jeans. Just throw on and kind of like pull together and finish your outfit. So from the BP line, and this is a 2X, and that may explain why this one feels a lot bigger. Okay, that may explain, that may explain why. All right, it also has built-in pockets on the sides. This, this is giving all of what it's supposed to have gave. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like a brushed um, fabric. So the inside is more more of like a cotton. It's almost like they reversed it. So guys, let me know in the comments because honestly, I can't pick and I don't feel like I need both. So bear in mind, my full order did not come in. I am just showing you guys the first set of items that came in. I expedited the shipping and everything, but they are only able to get about definitely less than half of my order to me in time for this video. So like I said in the previous video, if you guys would want for me to do another try on showing all the other pieces that I picked up, 
then make sure to thumbs up this video, share this video, especially with your curvy friends, okay? Because I know how hard it is to shop stuff online and not know if items will fit me or not, and somebody with a booty, someone with a belly, someone with bigger arms. So I'm really hoping that this video is a resource to you and also a resource to your friend. Now the next two items I picked up are both tops, and these are what I would consider basics, but this item I would say is an unbasic basic. So I picked this up in both colors. Um, I think it, I think it came in three colors, but I picked up two colors. I picked up the black and I picked up the cream and I'm seriously contemplating picking up the camel color because I just think it's one of those pieces that you can do a lot with. So it is a turtleneck, but it's made out of a lace, as you can see, sort of like fabric. It's quite stretchy as well. I'm wearing this here in an extra large. I believe this also comes in plus, but I think I got this from the straight side. And it is a thong bodysuit, which means you don't have to worry about VPL with this style. Quality wise, I'd give this a nine out of 10. This is a lace and I'm always scared about lace pieces that they will get a hole or some, or they'll snag on something. And I like the quality that this lace is made out of. It's kind of tough in a way like it's gonna last kind of way and this is one of those pieces that you can definitely throw a blazer over this you can wear this with a um, a vest like a sleeveless vest you can you know you can wear it on its own with a skirt a midi skirt jeans the next basic I picked up is a padded t-shirt I know padded teachers were like all the rage last year and I feel like I'm not hearing a lot about them this year for some reason like I thought the way we wore padded t-shirts last year I thought that we would be wearing them this year as well and I haven't really noticed that. Let me know if you've noticed a difference. I picked this one up. It's also a bodysuit as well. And if you're like me and you live in denim, then these bodysuits are a must have. This is a basic t-shirt, but the fact that it has the padding kind of dresses it up. It's perfect for um, a girl's night out, a date night, et cetera, et cetera, those type of things. Layer on some jewelry and you're good to go. So let me tell you the first thing I noticed when I put this on, the softness. If it feels so nice. I don't know how to explain it to you. They really worked on the, just the feeling of this fabric. I'm absolutely obsessed. This is from the Waif brand at Nordstrom and um, they have this in straight and in plus as well. I got this in a 2X and I would say that's the right size I should have got. Um, so I typically would go for a 1X in Nordstrom brand and I got a 2X in this. So I would say you could definitely, you can size up on this one in my opinion. And again, pair it with the jeans. That's probably how I'm gonna wear it. I also paired it with my coated um, skinny jeans. I love that look. So the next item is a quick honorable mention because I talked about it in the last video. One of my best finds from last year. And this is really the piece that put me onto Good American. And the sale, Good American is one of those brands mid-priced, but you're getting that luxury cut and value, especially when you grab, get it on sale. Now I know I'm gonna get a comment from someone. If you're lucky, you may be able to run across these brands at places like Nordstrom Rack, like Marshalls, et cetera, et cetera. I, I feel like for me, because I shop for a living, that's like part of what I do. I rarely have the time to really, really, you know, peruse the racks and maybe find that one a million gem. So that's one of the reasons why I always take advantage of this sale because I feel like I'm getting a good deal in these pieces that I know are great quality. And in the absence of a sale like this, the chance of me running across this sale, this blazer at Marshalls or TJ Maxx are slim to none. So. If you're like Macy's, then this video is definitely for you. You need to grab her, okay? She is a great deal. I'm wearing her in a size five. It's worth the coins, especially for the cut. They know how to cut a garment, okay? They know how to cut a garment. And on sale, it's a good buy. Anyways, I talked about this last year. Okay, nobody listen. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm talking about it again. Definitely grab this for yourself, especially if you're going back to work this fall and winter. If you're going back in the office and you want to come in hot, you want to be coming in hot. Okay, <laughs> make sure to thumbs up this video if you are enjoying it so far. It really helps your girl out. And it lets me know that you want me to make more like fall content. Like if you're like me, especially since we have like 90 plus degree days, looking forward to fall was probably keeping you from losing your mind. So let me know if you guys want me to continue um, 
if you guys enjoy me covering fall content this early in the season or if you guys want me to switch back to summer i'd love to know so covering it make sure you're also following us on the blog so you do not miss when our fall lookbook drops and of course our, the ltk app where i share my pics additional information about all the pieces my try-ons all of that in real time all right now on to shoes okay i only picked up two pairs of shoes like if you're looking for some heel booties i can never find none of their over the knee boots ever fit my calves so i've kind of given up on that but if you have skinnier calves and you're looking for a great deal on over the knee or knee high boots you don't want to miss this sale for me with the bigger calf they don't have any options from what i have seen if you're looking for like some mules they also have some cute options i already have all those things so i wasn't really in the market for them now speaking of what i did pick up for myself and speaking of workwear i picked up these vince camuto loafers they come in a couple of colors but i settled for something a little bit unique and i settled for and i settled for this silver pair like so um, as you can see, it's kind of like a square toe. It's not a full point. It's like a pointy square toe. Um, and I love that it's a, a leather, so you're gonna get that flexibility that you get for le with leather for my girls with wider feet. I know the struggle. When you invest in leather, you're going to be able to wear the leather in a way that it shapes to your foot, and that's what I like. It's also so much softer and kinder to your foot. And yeah, um, let me know your thoughts on this one. I kind of owned an odd on this one because I was like, I don't know about the flat front. I wish it was a full point. And I picked them in a size 11. So if you're new to the sale, make sure you check out my last video. I have been covering and shopping this sale for seven years and I really cover and shop it from the curvy perspective. In that video, I share with you guys my top tips for shopping the sale, my wish lists and my picks as well, just in case you're looking for, like you wanna know like everything that was on my wish list because I know this haul is just sharing a fraction of it. Next item I picked up is going to be <laughs> these boots so this year i was super excited to find out that they actually had some in the sale they have i picked up these from sam edelman if you are familiar with sam edelman you know what you get with them you get their mid-price brand and you get quality and to find sam edelman under 100 is like super hard to find so i'm super excited that they included these boots in the sale they also come in like a peachy color a gray color as well but i just needed a standard black one first and so i picked these ones up now my favorite 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 thing about these um boots is the fact that they zip up they also have this little feature right here like so and um yeah you can adjust these of course to suit you as well and i like these because as a girl with like larger calves this actually makes it a lot more comfortable when i'm putting on the shoe now, I plan to style this with all of my pretty dresses as we go in from fall, early fall into like later fall. I also plan on styling this with my denim skirts, with my leggings, you name it. I feel like a combat boot is a must have, okay? If this is a little too tall for you, I also have the pair that I picked up last year, which is a lower shaft boot. And they have two options in the sale that I've seen so far. They have a leather option that comes in both black and white, and then they have a non-leather option that is like around the $50 mark as well. And I will link those options for you down below. That was actually one of my top best sellers last year, and I totally get it. I feel like there's two different camps. The people that cannot get weight to wear their heels or that have been wearing heels regardless through the entire pandemic and people like who could not put on a heel if you beg them. So to wrap things up, let's talk about some jewelry. Um, I, I always, always look at the jewelry during the Nordstrom sale because again, it's one of those things where you're getting your quality and your value. And so this year I saw, I've been wanting these Braca initial necklaces and I saw that it was in the sale this year and I grabbed it. It's a substantial pendant. Let me tell you that much. And again, I'm just basing off of how well my necklace from last year has lasted i believe that this will also last very well for what it is it's costume jewelry this has um, a heavier weight to it definitely and it's more of a yellow gold um versus i also picked up 
the, this two-toned Hera, I think it's called the Hera necklace, I believe so. I, this is going to be like my third version of this necklace because I seem to have a thing for it. I have one that I picked up from Amazon. I have one that I picked up from Bobble Bar, who actually makes this one. And I picked up this one, okay? This one is two-toned, so it's silver on one end and then gold on the other. And I thought that was really cool. Um, and yeah, I like these necklaces because they're great for like layering um, with other necklaces as well. And I always get asked like where I get my necklaces from. Bobble Bar is one of my top places. Nordstrom is another place. And then Amazon. I will say though, I will say though that I picked up a necklace from Bobble Bar earlier this year and the thing starting to look funny. And I'm, and that's not funny to me. So I'm just hoping that that necklace is a fluke. So the next item that I picked up from the sale that I always have on my wish list and I always tell everybody about are their Moonlight Dream pajamas. I talked about it in the last video. These pajamas have been duped everywhere from Amazon to Target, just to name a few. And I can tell you right now, the quality you get from Nordstrom is unmatched. It's one of those pieces that they know people are gonna wear often and gonna wash, they last. So again, it's all about budgets. You know, sure you can get something similar for $16 and I'll link that for you down below if you're interested. But the reason why these pajamas sell out every year is because of the quality you get for the price, period. So speaking of lounging and bedtime, I decided to do something I have not done, okay? I decided to pick up some bougie, is what I call this, some bougie skincare. I have heard so many, so many, so many um, colleagues, what I call them, fellow bloggers, really talk about this brand. And I finally caved in and I picked this up. So this is the Necessaire body wash. So many girls have talked about this body wash. And in the sale, they're doing a duo for 35. Okay, I wanna pick up another one just in case I love it. Um, again, if you didn't know, Nordstrom has the most fantastic, fantastic return policy I have ever heard. Basically, there is no limit to what and when you can return. So I'm thinking that I may grab a second one just in case I love this and if I end up hating it, I'll just end up returning it because you're getting two products for the price of basically one, okay? And I've heard so many girls rave about this, especially the girls with like eczema and like skin conditions. And this is what it looks like right here. And I love the fact that it comes in a duo. So even if you are not interested in getting this for yourself, this is a very nice bougie gift to give your mom, your sister-in-law, your sister, et cetera, et cetera. That's one thing I love about this sale. They always have really nice sets from like really bougie kids candles to really plush throws and um, a lot of our like makeup favorites like the pillow talk they're from Charlotte Tilbury they usually have like a set they have the Kiehl's skincare set so they have so many gems in this sale by the way and I know a lot of people are like oh you know they don't like short shopping the Nordstrom sale anymore that some of the products that are made during the sale are subpar or skincare can't be so hard. So if you are looking for a short bet in the sale, I definitely recommend checking out the skincare. And I went ahead and really did a deep dive for you guys on the blog, if you did not know. I organized everything for you, my favorite tops, my favorite bottoms, um, workwear, shoes, cardigans, coats, basics, lingerie, um, makeup, skincare, the best of the best from the sale. I've categorized everything for you guys and a link to that blog post is gonna be in the description down below. Speaking of the blog post, I said it earlier in the video, but just in case you didn't hear me, sis, make sure you click that link and enter the giveaway, okay? I love giving back to you guys for all of the support you guys give me, how you just send me such beautiful messages on the daily, so I'm super grateful, and yeah, make sure you enter that giveaway. But I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram if you have any burning questions, if you just wanna come on and say hi, 
definitely follow me on there for daily-ish fashion and style inspo. If you want the tea on my Nordstrom anniversary sale, wish list my personal favorites and my top tips for shopping this sale. Public access opens July 28th. Camp down. <laughs> um, make sure you check out my previous video in this series. And if you guys would like for me to do the second try on haul that I promised you with the rest of the stuff that came in in the sale, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want more try on hauls, more fall fashion tips, ideas, and trend guides, then all you have to do is subscribe now. So let me know in the comments down below, what are your top three favorites from this haul? If any item is on your wish list and is sold out, don't worry sis, I've got you, okay? Watch this space, I've got you. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.